Welcome to Koffler Studio at Bryant University. This is Morning Delight. Hello, Brian. Welcome back to Morning Delight. Uh, we are your hosts. I'm Kevin Dunn, dressed up as Coburn Childs for Halloween. <laughs> I'm Coburn Childs, dressed up like an RA. Like an RA <laughs> for Halloween. And I'm Allie Salzberg, dressed normal. True, true. Yep. But uh, good show. I think we got a good show today. Definitely. Uh, I'm I excited agree. to get it going. Yeah. And um, what's, what is making this show the best yet? Uh, the backdrop. Sing. Incredibly new sexy new set, wouldn't awesome. you say? I like it. It's incredible. I think this is awesome. It is really cool. And uh, we got some new chairs. Yep. It so feels good on my, it's, um, was it lumbar support? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That, that just went, that could have gone south quickly, but good job. Good work, Kevin. Good no, work. No, but I just think that the set makes us look more professional. I think it makes True. us look artsy, too. Yeah. Which, yeah. I, which I appreciate. True. I think we're going to start taking credit uh, that we designed this and well, we created. did design this so we're, i mean it in our started not right now the, the introduction episode of the backdrop let's just get it out of the way and take credit for everything right okay. so the set is courtesy of <laughs> ali salzberg segment. kevin dunn and corbin child so you you are welcome so you guys know. that's awesome <laughs> but uh no we got a packed show there's a lot of stuff being talked about today a lot yep, of stuff yeah. on fashionably blonde they're talking about candy makeup which i guess you're familiar with right kevin yep you know <laughs> I was what just uh, gonna say, which one of you guys uses it please refer to me as cobra Childs. Uh, <laughs> oh burn the sweater vest. The, the, a pink sweater vest <laughs> on a plaid button vest? down on a no, plaid nothing. button down it just, it, last time you wore it so that's the i see this is it right here i get but, it but uh kevin dunn speaking as cobra Childs, i love candy makeup <laughs> Uh, you know, the Twizzler lipstick. No comeback. And, Once again, I have none. But, uh, first he of all, walks so, all over me. so candy makeup, I literally know nothing about it. I don't either. And so that's why I'm excited to learn about yeah, it. Because uh, I don't really either. Now, do you, uh, I would just eat it though, right? Well, I feel Maybe? like it's probably something more along the lines of like Skittle flavored. Uh, sure. Flavored. Okay, so it's sure. not like you can, I don't know if it's edible. It's like Hershey chocolate eyeliner. Maybe. True. It smells like it. If that, I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited to find out. Yeah. That will be good. <laughs> yeah. Good segment. And then on chatting with Dana and Bailey, what mm -hmm. do they have? Golly. Great question. They're they, talking about, I can't pronounce his name. Modest Yahoo? Oh, yes. Okay. Modest okay. Yahoo. Who is he? I guess that he is an artist. He sings that song, One Day, One Day. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't even know Keep how it goes. Keep going. Keep going. I, that's all I know about it. He's just, he's, I guess I, he's a pretty popular, you know, he's, he's a Jewish rapper. He's and inspirational, he, he too. Thing oh. and he's, uh, he's supposed to be pretty cool. I hope cool. he sings for us on Thursday. Yeah, I hope so. I'm that's excited awesome. to see it. I got my ticket all ready for it. There Can't wait. Alex should be front row. I mean, if you've never been there, if you've never seen him or you don't yeah. really know about him, you should be right there. <laughs> Where in the, is it? The front line. It's going to be in the Mac. Oh, I thought it was at your townhouse. Oh, I don't have a townhouse. That's nice. That hurt, Kevin. That hurt. Um, they're Moving also, on. <laughs> they're also going to be talking about Halloween decorate, decorations, which I went to Kohl's today, and they have some Ooh. for really cheap if anybody's interested. Mm. Well, here's my problem know. with a lot of Halloween Five decorations. Five and below is good, too. Are mm. they? Mm -hmm. My problem with a lot of Halloween decorations these days are they've moved past Q and goblin -y and witches and ghosts, and now it's like dead people and corpses and serial killers. There's this house in my neighborhood, and I have a six-year-old sister. We pass by, and there's like dead bodies and zombies in the yard, and she's scared to death of it. To be completely honest, I stopped listening to you once you used the word goblin -y. Oh, I you know, know what? <laughs> Goblin-y. I, I can't like, be taken seriously. I already tuned out. I already tuned out. It's okay. You know what? What happened to the good old days where it was gob <laughs> goblin Goblin-y and goblin ghosty. Yeah. Witchy. I guess adding E to a word doesn't really make it goblin -y. an adjective, does it? Nah, well, who knows? Goblin-y. Mm. Coburn's then, outfit is goblin-y. <laughs> goblin All right, moving okay. on. <laughs> moving on. In case you missed it, which is, I should say, speaking of which, we did miss... Uh, where uh, Modest Yahoo is performing. He's actually performing in Janakees. Oh. Yes. oh. So we missed that. But oh. on in case Janikees. you missed it. Janakees. In Janakees. Where's Janakees? With Janakees. <laughs> player's joke. Mm. <laughs> Paula. <Anyway. laughs> yeah. Brian Player's shout out. Uh, anyway, on in case you missed it, they are talking about the new Siri app yes. on the yes. on the iPhone 4S. Do you guys, do you have the new iPhone? No. I don't. I have a couple friends who have it. True. And let me tell you, I love that Siri app. She my is a who and a half. Too. It's cool. It it's really awesome. is cool. It's awesome. And you can, like, my roommate always, like, jokes with Siri. Yeah. And she, like, gets it. Yeah. Siri has a, Siri has a sense Siri. of humor. <laughs> they programmed her with a sense of For humor. For serious. <laughs> oh, that, nice. That, it's cheesy. But I said, Siri, I love you. She goes, oh, stop. <laughs> nice. Oh Siri gets it, man. 
my my roommate got his new iPhone and he and he brought it and he had to go somewhere so we didn't really like get to play with the settings yet. So obviously me and all my roommates were like, all right, let's play with this thing. We gave it an Australian accent, <laughs> calls Bill Gary. It's awesome. Oh my god. Wow. It's awesome. Nice. It's cool. But uh, that's so smart. it does anything. It does anything you want. It's that's pretty cool. killer. And they're gonna be talking about apparently a controversy with um, the fact that Siri's voice is a woman's mm. versus mm. it being a man's. So why is that? I don't know. That will be an interesting conversation. Then. Wow. Huh. Very interested to hear. Is that so? Are they debating it? Is if like, is there like a news report or is there someone yeah. that's actually upset the, the fact that it's there was a some type of article that, hmm. um, in case you missed it, had seen online. So mm. they discuss. Wow. What they think. Good to know. Yep. Also, um, this past week we had our senior class gift yeah. kickoff. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Broke records, didn't we? Record Broke shattering. Records. We raised in two hours over twenty-one thousand dollars. Wow for the senior class gifts, so that is awesome. High five seniors. Guys, we five. rock. We're gonna have a really, really good class gift. And you can still donate. Um, all like semester, sheets. right? Yep, all semester. Mm -hmm. And then the whole class is gonna be voting through December True. on the What gift. the actual gift is gonna be. I yeah. like it. Yep. 21,000, that's a lot of money. I mean. I mean, I dropped, I mean, 20,000 is because of me. Right. I just dropped, <laughs> I just slammed down. Locked in, yeah. threw the check down, yeah. got Please. out of there. I yeah. threw a few like pennies that. in. There you go, all right, <laughs> awesome. Well, we have a great show for you True. today, so stick around and we'll see you when we end. Absolutely. Hey guys, welcome back to this second season of Fashionably Blonde. We're so happy to welcome my co-host Margot Becker back this season. She's back from Florence, Italy where she was abroad and she found some tasty findings while she was away. Margo, what did you find for us? Well, it was so exciting to be abroad and I realized that some of the items I was using smelled and tasted like candy so I thought doesn't every girl want to taste and smell like candy? I do. So the first thing I realized was this pink sugar perfume that tastes and smells exactly like cotton candy. It is delicious and all the girls are asking me what I'm what I'm wearing and all the guys are standing a little close to me. So now I heard that there's edible perfume and I've heard of this product called it's hard candy it's a brand at Sephora and it's actually um, edible body shimmer that you can wear and body Yum. powder. I so love that. That goes perfectly with about. this. So the next product I found was this Stella um, blush. And as you can see, it's bubblegum pink. And it goes right on your cheeks. And it really gives that bubblegum pink look at the apple of your cheeks. Mm-hmm. And to top that off, I have this NARS cream blush in this pink color. And this is perfect for that shimmer. It looks like frosting on a cake. So it's perfect for that hint of little shimmer on your cheek. I'm actually a big blush girl. I can't leave the house without blush. I think it really just adds, you know, it makes you look happy no matter what. And it really adds a color. It's like you can't have frosting. Like you have to have frosting on a cake. So that's exactly. what it is. And for your lips, which I think is the most important because you always have to have glossy, shiny lips. So what I have is this pink lip tint that you put on and it just tints your lips the perfect pink that you want. And then you would top that off with a shiny lip gloss that Norelle and I are both wearing right now. Tastes really good, And guys. it tastes great and it makes the boys and girls want to know what's going on with those lips. So that's what I have if you want to look and smell like candy. And if you want to learn more about these products, you can get them all at Sephora, the one-stop shop. So if you want to learn more about them, I have the prices and more information on my blog at wheresmargo.blogspot.com. Thanks, Margo. All right, thanks guys for watching Fashionably Blonde this week. As you can see, you now know how to look and smell like candy. You can check us out on Facebook uh, you can like our page and on Twitter at Fashion Blondes and also our new website and blog, uh, fashionablyblonde.wordpress.com. Thanks, we'll see you next week. I'm Chad Sabo. I'm Dana Rennick. And I'm Bailey Cornell. So this week we're going to be talking Did about... Did you guys know that there's someone really important coming to Bryant this Thursday? Who? No, who's coming? Mattis Yahoo! Oh, really? Yeah! Oh, wow. Wait, wait, wait. totally forgot that? about that. You don't know who that is? No. He's one, he's Does he one live of, under a rock? <laughs> Apparently. He's like one of the most talented musicians out there. I mean, his hit singles are Kin Without a Crown, One Day. I mean, he sings in Hebrew oh, and English. Oh, I know that song. I know that song. Yeah. yeah, he won Best Reggae Artist in 2006. Yeah. 
And a little trivia for you, if he was an actual center, he would have been a basketball player. Oh, he's, he's 6'5", he has wow. the frame and everything, so. Yeah. When's he yeah. playing? At 8 o'clock Thursday at Janicke's. Yeah. Oh. Tickets are free. Oh, they're free? Oh. Free. free. Hopefully I can make it, because. Yeah. Maybe I should go then. Oh, yeah, okay. you should. We'll Speaking of that, you know what else is really exciting happening this weekend, guys? Halloween. Halloween. I know, Halloween's yeah. so pretty. Yeah, I yeah, guess. Halloween is no, no, pretty. like no decorations. Like I love decorating for Halloween. Oh, me too. And especially that's like, not really my thing. But to do with the dorm, though. <laughs> it's so small. You could always like I had a friend who always did uh, paper bats, did like you on do the ceiling or whatever. You not, not me. I didn't do it. I didn't <laughs> do it. <laughs> you did it. She had yeah, orange and black know, Just be serious. You did it yourself. Nah, I didn't <laughs> do that. Decorating's not my thing. Okay. So what else did your friend do? She had like orange and black streamers and stuff, like oh, uh, cobwebs, that. like fake okay. cobwebs, obviously, and fake spiders okay. or whatever. She, Ooh, fake spiders she went that would all freak out. me out. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we were allowed to have strobe lights. Oh, that would be yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, that would yeah, be, awesome. be cool. We can have black lights, I think, right? I think, yeah, that I think you can have Halloween. black lights. But strobe lights, I don't know. It's kind of a fire. I'll double check on that, though, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure. Definitely. So, uh, have you guys decided what you're going to be for Halloween this year, or the five still nights. thinking? Yeah. The five nights we have. Five nights, yeah. Yeah, actually. I don't even know which, where to begin. I have so many. Well, name your top options. one. Top one. Uh, top one. Probably Supergirl. Supergirl. I really got that I'm going to do Supergirl too. We but a pink Supergirl. Oh my gosh. I'm still a Pink red. Supergirl? Yeah, I have a pink cape right. with an S on it. <laughs> oh it's going to be really cool. I'm not going to be Supergirl. I'm going to be Goofy. So goofy? I don't know. Yeah, because I, 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 I found a Goofy hat and it's kind of cool. So I'll just go off of that. And oh. Well, I don't know. Okay. It'll be good. Hat, Hopefully. Like just just your face. Just, no, I'm going to do it all out. Well, yeah, you look pretty goofy. So it work. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be a lion. I'm gonna a make lion a too? Mean. Yeah. That'd be yeah. cool. It's gonna be That'd awesome. Be cool. Awesome. Alright, well I think that's all the time we have. So th thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Chad Sabo. I'm, I'm Bailey Cornell. I'm Dana Rennick. Alright, we hope to see you next week. Smile pretty. Well, welcome, Bryant. We're in case you missed it. I'm Nolan Thompson. I'm Angie Andrews. And I'm Ariel Molino. Heads up, Planet Earth. A defunct German satellite is heading toward the atmosphere. It is estimated that the satellite could break up in the extreme heat of the atmosphere and pieces could scatter in a 50-mile-wide area on the ground. According to the German Aerospace Center, the largest fragment could be the telescope mirror, which may weigh up to 1.7 tons. Fortunately, it is highly unlikely that anyone will be harmed when the satellite falls back to Earth. It's been months in the works, but finally, as you can see, our very own studio has undergone extensive renovation. New sets were delivered this past Thursday after extensive efforts put forth by our own media production club led by Katie Colton and the cooperation of Professor Dooley and Zamorelli culminated into these wonderful sets. A new news set, a talk show set, and an ever adaptable living room set will hopefully come to enhance your viewing experience as it will sure enhance our broadcasting by adding a new level of professionalism to our already state-of-the-art studio. So, on behalf of everyone else in the studio and those watching, I'd like to extend a big thank you to all those involved in making these wonderful additions to our studio and furthering a tradition of quality broadcasting here on Bryant. Siri, the iPhone 4S's new application, has raised a lot of debate. Not because it is an application that can speak to you, but because Siri is a woman. New iPhone statistics state that many users have been asking Siri sexist questions such as, what are you wearing, in order to baffle the iPhone application. It was reported that Apple chose Siri to be a woman simply because studies show that people respond better to a woman's voice. People are generally more receptive to a woman's voice because it's the first voice that a baby hears in the womb. Apple is not the only company capitalizing on this new research. All GPS makers and voicemail systems also default to a woman's voice. So Nolan, congratulations on these new sets. Thank you. I mean, congrats to everyone in MPC and people who use this studio. It should be a lot of fun. I mean, right now, the lighting is in the process of being perfected, but I mean, they're, <laughs> they're very nice right now, but Professor Dooley and Professor Zamorelli are working very hard they are making this studio up and functioning and amazing. Awesome, and helping us with our resume tapes. So thank you so Always. much, Professor Dooley and Zamorelli for that. So, the issue with the new iPhone application Siri is supposedly not because it's an application that tells you what to do, but because Siri is a woman and not a man. How do you guys feel about that? I mean, I think it's a bit crazy. I mean, <laughs> most, most voice systems already are, are women, so I don't, I don't know what their big problem is with this one. Yeah, supposedly voice systems 
like throughout history, it's been proven that women, people, men and women, both respond better to women's voices. Yeah, I heard research says that since a woman's voice is the first thing you hear when you enter life, it's more likely that people will respond better to it. Right, so I find that so interesting. It's also, there's only one time, I found this really, really funny on CNN.com actually. There's only been one time in all of history in which in which people didn't respond better to a woman's voice. And that was in 1998. It was um, BMW makers, but it was the new BMWs that were in 5 Series that were in Germany. So there was the first in-your-car navigation system, so now we're talking 13 years ago. Yeah. The ones that were like, installed in your car and that were super fancy. It was a woman's voice. So apparently multiple, like hundreds of people called into BMW and were like, we don't take direction from a woman, make it a man. <laughs> So that's the only time in history that's ever been proven. It's backfired. Yeah, I mean, I don't get it. I mean, a lot of, I mean, your voicemail is a woman. Like, a lot of the default settings for, like, answering machines are women. I mean, I don't understand why this one singular issue, you know, this one singular instance is becoming such a great issue. I mean, I, think it's, I think it's, honestly, I think it's a lot of corporate or people who just are anti-Apple right now. Because when you're <laughs> such a big anti-Apple, anti like Apple, sure. it's a word, maybe. <laughs> Uh, it, I mean, basically, when you're a company that big, you have, you have that much of a target on you. Yeah, and people yeah, yeah. are going to look for any excuse to try to tear you down once you're on top. So Nobody's ever had a problem before. And now, yeah, now... It's so true. Do you see Siri as being sexist like they do now, or do you just see it as being just being what it is? I wouldn't have thought twice about it. I wouldn't either. We hadn't talked about this. I, I've heard it before, and I didn't think anything of it. Yeah, same here. Well... That's all the time we have for you today. I'm Angie. I'm Arielle. And I'm Nolan. Now over to the senior segment. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the show. I did. I did too. I that was did. awesome. I love the part about the Halloween costumes. Yep. You love the part about the candy makeup. 